Hi and welcome. My name is Julianne Cost, and in the next few minutes we're going to take a look at how easy it is to create a collection using Lightroom and then share that with my mobile devices so that I can make edits on those devices. So you'll notice here that I've got a number of images. I'm just going to select all of them and then I'm going to create a new collection and I want to put that inside my portfolio collection. So I'll right mouse click on portfolio and I'll choose to create a collection. I'm going to call this my ocean collection. I'm going to put it inside the collection set and I'm going to automatically synchronize it with Lightroom Mobile. When I click create, we can see this new collection and we can see over here on the left hand side that it has the synchronize option right here so that it is synchronizing with my mobile device. Now I'm going to switch over to my mobile device and you can see that I have the Lightroom app installed on my iPhone. I'll go ahead and tap that in order to launch the app and I have a number of different collections that have already been synchronized but we also can now scroll down and see that ocean collection. Now I do want to just mention that I have signed in to this app on Lightroom Mobile. You'll need to sign in obviously in order to access these collections. Now, if I want to see all of the images inside of that collection, I can tap on the collection in order to see the contents. And then if I want to see one of these images larger, I can tap on it. To move from one image to the next, I can swipe between them. If I want to zoom in, I can double tap. Or, of course, I could use any of the different pinch gestures in order to see them larger or smaller. If I reach an image that I really like and I want to rate or flag that image, we can see in the lower left hand corner that I can flag the image. If I just swipe up in the image, you can see it moves from being unflagged to a pick flag. If I move to the next image and I don't like the image, I can tap and drag down in order to reject an image. If I prefer to use star ratings, I can tap on the star icon in the lower left and now when I tap and drag up in my image, you can see that I can add a different number of star ratings. All right, let's swipe back to that one image that was quite crooked. At the bottom here, we can see that I have settings as well as presets and a crop icon. I'll start with the crop icon and I want to crop this to a square. So I'll choose the one to one aspect ratio. Then I'll position my cursor outside of the image and just drag down a little bit to rotate. I can reposition the image by just dragging within the crop marquee. And in order to apply that and add a preset, I'll click on the preset icon. You'll notice that there are a number of different creative presets that I can add, including the ability to add a cross process effect. Or if I prefer, I can go with maybe a more mild effect by choosing the different color options. I might just want to warm this up a little bit. So the great thing about all the changes that I make here in Lightroom Mobile is that they're all non-destructive, just like they are on Lightroom on the desktop. So I can change my mind at any time and I'm not losing any quality. So let's go ahead and move over to black and white. Maybe I want to add a lot of contrast here and make this image black and white. So I'll select that and then I might move over to the effect and just add a vignette around the edges of this image. Now let's move to another image. I'll go ahead and swipe to this one. This one's just looking a little bit dark. So I'm going to choose to refine it here using all of the different features that I would have in the basic panel. I'll go ahead and tap auto tone. That will brighten it up. I might add even a little bit more contrast by using the slider here. If I want to see into my shadows, I can drag this shadow slider over to the right. And if I want to bring down my highlights to reveal more detail, I can bring the highlight slider down to the left. As soon as I'm finished making all of the edits to an image, I can choose whether I want to share just a single image or if I want to share the entire collection. Let's go ahead and take a look at sharing just this single image. I'll tap on the share icon in the upper right and then choose share. And we can see that I could message this or email it. I could tweet it or post it to Facebook or I could save it to my camera roll if I wanted to publish it to a site like maybe Behance. All right, I'll go ahead and cancel out of here and we're gonna back out of the individual image so that we see the entire collection again. And then I'll back out of that again so that we can see 
just the collection icon. I'm going to tap on the three dots in the lower right hand corner and then choose Web Collection Sharing. I can share this by making it a public link and then I can choose to share the link in order to, again, either message or email or tweet out that link. Whoever I send this link to can then view this entire collection of images on any mobile device or even on their desktop or laptop computer as long as they have a browser. Now, there might be times where I'm not starting on my desktop with a collection of images, but instead I might be out photographing using my mobile device. And I want to add those images to my Lightroom catalog as well as work on them here on Lightroom on my mobile device. So I'm going to tap the plus icon in the upper right hand corner and we'll go ahead and we will name this collection Caribbean. I'll tap on the three dots in the lower right hand corner and I can choose to either enable the auto import, which means that every image that I take from now on would automatically be imported into this collection, or I can add from camera roll. So I'll tap add from camera roll to add these six images. I'll tap and drag over the first three and then tap and drag over the second three and then tap the check mark in order to have them automatically imported into this collection. Of course, as this adds them to my collection, Lightroom is also going to synchronize these to my desktop machine. For now, let's go ahead and just take one image and really quickly here, I'm going to crop this image down to a one by one aspect ratio as well. I'll go ahead and just resize that crop and then reposition my crop marquee. All right, when I'm finished, We'll go ahead and return back out to the collection so that we can see that. And then let's go ahead and return back to Lightroom on my desktop. As we can see, the changes that I made on my mobile device were added and synchronized to the desktop machine. So for example, this image, we can see the flag. We can also see that it's been cropped and I've converted it to black and white. If we scroll down, we can see that this image has the reject flag and this image right here has the four stars that I gave it. And you'll also notice that in the collections panel, there's a new collection from Lightroom Mobile and that's the new collection that I actually originated on my mobile device. So I'll use the disclosure triangle there. You can see there are the six images that I put in that new collection called Caribbean. And over here we can see, here's the image that I actually edited on my mobile device. All of those non-destructive changes have been synchronized here to my laptop. So as you can see, Lightroom makes it really easy not only to make non-destructive changes to your images, but also to synchronize those changes across multiple devices and share those images anytime, anywhere. I'm Julianne Cost. Thanks for watching.